So um, we're going to do uh, this this um, t test on the Casio calculator, um, and this is example. Um, oh, yeah, this is the uh, example with the tulips on page four hundred and seven uh, in the textbook. So Maisie noticed that the sun shines more on one side of the garden than the other. She wanted to know whether this had any effect on the height of the tulips on either side of the garden. She measured 20 tulips from each side of the garden, and the data is shown in the table. So, um, yeah, in your textbook on page 407, uh, you have a data table, and we're going to enter these data on the calculator. So, we go to the stat menu, and uh, we can start by entering the data in the list. Um, and I'll just do that uh, quickly, uh, and you can do the same on your calculator to just pause the video in the meantime. And uh, like this, so um, just make sure you, that you have the, the same number of, of data that you haven't missed any data points. You should have 20 pairs here, so 20 pairs of um, lengths. We go into test F3. We're going to do a t-test. And these stand for one sample and two sample tests. Um, I think we're only going to do two sample tests here. So F2. And um, let's just check everything here. Uh, data. Data come from a list. That's fine. Um, this is our null hypothesis. So the null, no, sorry, this is the alternative hypothesis. So the alternative hypothesis is that the um, um, the mean of the one sample is unequal to the mean of the second sample. Uh, down here you can see you can choose between the different um, types of alternative um, hypothesis for two-tailed and one-tailed tests. So this is a two-tailed test. So we set it as unequal, but you can you can choose here as you can see. Um, there's not a choice for the null hypothesis because that's always the same, namely that these means are equal. So list one is list one, list two is list two, and uh, pooled. We're going to set the pooled to off. I think the um, the default value here is off. So we set that to on, um, which means that we assume that the variance in the two samples is the same. Okay, and we are at the end of the list here. Execute, executing the test, and we get our result. So the result tells us that. Um, P value is 3.92 multiplied with 10 to the power of minus 3. So that's 0 0.00392, um, which in this case is smaller than the chosen significance level, um, which is um, 0 0.05, so 5%. Um, so when the p-value is smaller than the um, chosen significance level, we reject the null hypothesis and we accept the alternative hypothesis. So in this case, it means the tulips on the left side of the garden uh, have a different mean than the tulips on the right side of the garden. So this is how you do a t-test in on the Casio. Just one last comment. Uh, this at the top here. This is not an indication of the result of the test. It does not say that um, the two means are unequal. Um, it's all get, always going to display this. This is just the uh, alternative hypothesis. So you always have to check the p-value. And in this case, I, I just changed the data a little bit. So here you have a p-value. 
which is um, which is higher than the um, significance level. So that would mean that the the means would actually be equal. So look at the p-value. 